Case 63, City of Houston and American Airlines versus the FAA. We find ourselves in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. Facts. Prior to the dawn of the jet age, the air carrier serving national agreed to a 650 mile perimeter, perimeter rule on non-stop flights to and from national with exceptions for seven cities between 650 and 1,000 miles away, which enjoyed grandfathered non-stop service as of December 1st, 1965. The agreement expired on January 1st, 1967, but the carriers continued to adhere to its terms until May 1981, when three carriers, American, Pan American, and Braniff, announced plans to fly nonstop to National from cities outside the perimeter. American and Houston seek review of DOT regulations imposing a perimeter rule that prohibits air carriers from operating non-stop flights between National and any airport more than 1,000 statute miles away. The FAA viewed the rule as a means of controlling the increasing traffic at National. The rule did not placate area residents who found the noise from jet aircraft equally disturbing whether the flight originated within 1,000 miles or on the moon. The city of Houston filed a petition for review of the Goldschmidt perimeter rule on September 22, 1980. Americans sought review of both the perimeter and the Goldschmidt slot allocation rules. The Air Transport Association of America and Eastern Airlines filed a petition for review of the slot redistribution rule in Unit B of this court, now the Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. New York Air filed a petition for review of the slot allocation rule in the DC Circuit. The May 8, 1981 Interim Perimeter Rule also spawned litigation. On May 20, 1981, Houston and American moved to enjoin issuance of the interim perimeter regulation. The Fifth Circuit denied their motions by order, filed May 27, 1981. Houston then filed a petition for review of the interim perimeter rule, which the Fifth Circuit consolidated with the petitions seeking review of the final perimeter rule. Mm -hmm. Only the perimeter rules interim and final stand in the dock before this court. Issue. Whether the FEA's decision administratively to, to impose a perimeter rule on flights to and from national is arbitrary and capricious. Holding, the court disagreed. Reasoning. While the courts of appeals have on numerous occasions taken an administrative agency to task for its failure to follow correct procedures or to proffer an acceptable reason for its actions, we find that the FAA and DOT have acted reasonably and in good faith to solve a difficult problem. The agency carefully considered all the factors and arrived at a reasonable judgment. In no way do the rules before us constitute arbitrary and capricious agency action. The enormous record in this case bolsters the decision, and the arguments of Houston and American, although sincere and not without merit, do not convince us to the contrary. Rulemaking by an administrative agency is governed by the Administrative Procedure Act, which prohibits agency action that is arbitrary, capricious, an abuse of discretion, or otherwise not in accordance with law, and prescribes proper methods of administrative action. In general, courts review the agency's procedures to ensure reasoned decision-making, but courts routinely defer to agency expertise in the final analysis. The agency's decision is entitled to a presumption of regularity, but that presumption is not to shield the agency's action from a thorough probing in-depth review. As a final argument, Houston and American asserted that the perimeter rule violated passengers' constitutional right to travel. The court disagreed. At most, their argument reduces to the feeble claim that passengers have a constitutional right to the most convenient form of travel. That notion, as any experienced traveler can attest, finds no support whatsoever in Shapiro or in the airline's own schedules.